Hello, I'm Jonathan Beal with Saratoga Copper, and I want to talk to you today about uh, our basins. Um, this is really one of the oldest traditional copper cooking vessels. Um, you see this appear in traditions all over the world. You see it in Spain, Mexico, Latin America, uh, India, um, United States, Europe. Um, this basic just shape is great for cooking lots of stuff. And specifically, these pans uh, are have real specific, unlined copper has real specific cooking applications. And uh, we use these in the kitchen uh, for cooking. Um, jams, marmalades, apple butter, uh, doing a confit. Um, I've done polenta that's great like a traditional Italian polenta pan, um, fudge, caramel, maybe I'm repeating myself, but any of these things with sugar, cooking down figs, um, atole, of course in Mexico where these, uh, down in Santa Clara, where these have been in almost continuous production for 500 years, uh, they are most well known for making the traditional carnitas which is pork cooked in its own fat. And oh my God, if you haven't had that, <clears throat> that stuff just falls apart. Delicious, get a whole pig in there. Um, and a bigger one, in a bigger pot. But these, this is our new line of uh, uh, jam pans. And we just kind of expanded on our original uh, 15 inch uh, pot. This is the 15 inch pan and um, people use this for filling up a beer. It's great as an ice bucket. Really makes a statement on a on your bar. Um, bobbing for apples, bathing little babies. I mean, you can use this for whatever you want. It is a extremely well made well made piece. I've been uh, working with these and uh, selling them to people for over 20 years. First pieces I sold to people out of the back of my truck. They are still using them today. I got a tender spot in my heart for these basins because um, they have really carried me a long way. I get a lot of use out of them, and so do a lot of people that have bought these from us over the years. They are made from a single piece of copper, and it's a single piece of copper that this thing is made out of. There's no seam in here that ever separate or leak. This edge is rolled over a wire. Um, rolling that edge over the wire gives you a real solid lip, real durable piece, nice heavy gauge. One thing that's real interesting about this that's different from a lot of our other pieces is that uh, you can really see what the hammer shine does. You can see in here where the hammer has hit and then in between the hammer marks where you have the uh, sort of um, matte copper. And the hammering, you know, we're using a hammer that's got a real high polish on the surface. This is my uh, polishing hammer. Um, you can see how I haven't been using it for a while because it doesn't have that mirror shine on there, but I'm showing you nonetheless. And this hammer, what it does is you have this piece sitting on the anvil and just hammering. Each one of these hammer marks is somebody dropping that hammer down on there and making connection on the surface of the copper and bouncing there off of the metal of the anvil, which is why you have two different finishes. Out here you see kind of a matte finish. And you can see with every mark, it's got kind of the same indentations in there, and that's where it's hitting the same place on the anvil. The anvil does not have a real high polish, and that's why you have more of a matte finish on here. Whereas the hammer, the hammer does have that high polish, and it beats that shine into the metal. And this is really where I can really show off the, the kind of our hammer polishing technique that not only is it aesthetic, um, but it actually beats shine into the metal, uh, it makes the copper more rigid, it work hardens the piece, makes for a real durable piece of equipment. Also on here we have our uh, uh, countersunk rivets. So they sit on there flush. Copper rivets, because these pieces are made for cooking, with, uh, for made for cooking. Um, solid copper cooking. And rivets hammered on the outside. Our stainless steel handle system where you can set your little spoon inside there. Wooden spoon's always the best when you're making up all those things. Um, this is our 15 inch. It goes down to an eight inch. This is an eight inch jam pan, polenta pan. 
Scrapple. I'll make Scrapple in there. I love making Scrapple for Christmas for everybody. Um, this is our 10 inch pan. And all of these are the same construction. One single solid piece, heavy gauge, edges rolled over a wire. Look at how great that is. Same slope side design. And that's so you really get heat all over this pan. Because you're, what you're trying to do is you're trying to evaporate all the liquid out of there when you're making jam or jelly or caramel or fudge, whatever you're trying to make. Um, and then over here we've got our, our uh, 12 inch. 8, 10, 12, 15. This is the 12 inch. This is my personal 12 inch right here. Made all of these jams and jellies. This is a fig chutney we made. Uh, low quat chutney. Mulberry jam. That's just this year we've done out of this pan. And since then, it's just been sitting here holding all of my, all of my fruits and vegetables. It looks great sitting on the counter. Before you cook with it, before any, you cook with any of these things, you should always clean your copper before you cook with it. With unlined copper, you want to clean it first before you cook with it. That's just kind of an insider tip. Um, and you can clean this copper with lemons, lemons and salt, get that lemon juice in there. And what you're trying to do is you're basically just trying to remove all of the patina, all of the oxidization that's happened in your copper. And you put that, uh, you can use lemon or you can use uh, Wright's Copper Cream, which I really enjoy using. You get all that lemon juice in there, lemon juice and salt, vinegar and salt, or your Wright's Copper Cream. You clean the inside of that pan so it's just pink and shiny and looks like uh, the day it was born. Something like this, inside of this thing. And you get that, and then you're ready to cook with it. I recommend also, after you do that, it's good to rinse it and maybe rub it down with a little soap because that soap will counteract the acidic interaction with the copper. So if there's any acidity left in here, even though you've already rinsed it out, as you put heat on it, that acidity is going to, con it's gonna, if there's just a little left in there, it's gonna continue to react with the copper and you'll see this change in color that happens. Um, so it's good to rinse it out with a little soap and that soap neutralizes any acid that might be left in there. So your pan is gonna be clean, sparkling, and ready to cook whatever it is you wanna do inside of your pan there. Um, and this is our this is our 12 inch. I want to show you our two big pans momentarily. This is the 20 inch. This is from my personal collection. Last thing I did with this last year was cook up all of my peaches and made a big peach fruit leather. Lots of fruit leather. I made fruit leather because my peach jam didn't turn out so pretty. So I just kept boiling it and turned it into leather. And now I cut it up every oh, month or so and. Uh, send my kid outside and let him chew on that for a couple hours. Um, and so again, if I were to use this again, I would clean this whole thing out. I wouldn't necessarily worry about cleaning the outside because um, that's getting all the heat on it. Uh, if I'm bobbing for apples, bathing babies, I also wouldn't really worry about cleaning it. That thing's going to look great. You can see all the color in there. Purple, sepia, brown, pink, yellow, Oh, just a ton of colors that come out of the copper. This is our 20 inch basin. And then the big bad boy, only by special request. Oh. This is the 25. And this is for cooking up pigs. Pigs or goats, sheep. Um, Little animals, ducks, whatever you want to do, confit, cook it up in fat. It is delicious. Put this on top of a fire, cook it all day. Oh my God. You want a party? You want a party? This is a party right here. But they're great, functional. They work well just in your kitchen when you're not using them. Fill them up with all your potatoes. I love ruby red grapefruit. Lemons, want a lot of, I love lemon peels in all of my jam. My fig tree is about to go off. All of these lemon peels are going in my fig jam. It's going to be delicious. Um, they're great, uh, just real functional pieces. What are all the stuff that people use these for? Candy production. I make polenta, like a traditional Italian polenta pot. One of the reasons these are so good for that kind of cooking is because you have this kind of narrow base. Being copper, it's going to pick up all of that heat. 
it's going to pick all of that heat up in here. And then any of the heat that is escaping around the sides is still picked up because you have these sides that, that uh, angle out. It's still going to pick up uh, more heat through the sides. And what you're looking to do in here is evaporation. You're looking to evaporate all of this, um, all of that juice and everything that you're cooking. You want to reduce whatever it is that you're cooking. Similar with polenta, you put in a lot of water. You want that uh, crushed cornmeal to absorb that water and you want it to dissipate and um, evaporate so that you're redu you got something that's that's reduced and thick, and that's your jam, that's your jelly, that's your caramel. Um, that's really whatever it is that you want to be cooking up in here. First thing that I ever sold working with the copper was one of these basins over 20 years ago. My clients from 20 years ago are still using these pieces today. Um, just real high quality, heavy duty uh, basin for whether you're going to use it for chilling wine and beer, or you're going to use it for a big old uh, thing of candy corn, or you're going to use it for making some apple butter. Whatever you want to use this for, this pan is made to work. This basin is made to work. They hold up well. And if you guys ever have any questions about how to use this stuff, care, maybe you dropped it and you got a dent, we can certainly help you fix all that stuff. Our work is guaranteed for life. Um, and we expect for this stuff to serve you for many, many years. We make our goods to last. Thank you very much.